Central Office of Delta Sigma Pi is located at 330 South Campus Avenue in Oxford, Ohio. The Central Office is more than just a building. It is a museum in many ways, recording the lives and history of over 200,000 young men and women who have joined our fraternity since its founding. In addition to the museum quality of the Central Office, it is also a functioning office and a gathering. Welcome to the central office. Entering the foyer of the central office, each visitor to Delta Sigma Pi's central office is asked to sign the registration book. The registration books date back to the founding of the central office. Every visitor and every visit is recorded in that book. Fifty years from today, you will be able to come back and remember your first visit to the central office. Construction on the present central office building was started in early 1955. The official dedication of the building occurred on May 18, 1956. The building is designed after the Raleigh Tavern in Williamsburg, Virginia, where members of the first fraternity, Phi Beta Kappa, held organizational meetings. In remembrance of the roots of the American fraternity system, our building contains many furnishings and accessories which are Williamsburg reproductions. In addition, the general design and details of both the exterior and interior of the structure are in the Williamsburg tradition. The bulletin boards throughout the building commemorate alumni chapters, current collegiate chapters, and future chapters of Delta Sigma Pi. Mailings are scheduled throughout the year to the thousands of young men and women operating chapters across the country. Today, many communications are of an electronic nature. The vault before you at one time held all the membership records for every fraternity member. In the basement, facilities are available for Delta SIGs to gather together. The alumni room, which you are looking at currently, is frequently used for meetings and gatherings. When the fraternity was founded, a form was developed to record the membership of every brother in Delta Sigma Pi. If you went to the central office today, you would be able to find the membership records for every initiate of the fraternity until our electronic processing became effective. The basement of the building serves the fraternity in a variety of ways. The alumni library houses membership forms and displays of chapter activities. The Hall of Presidents features photos of every grand president and dates of their service. Special meetings with chapters, the board of directors, foundation trustees, and the staff are held in the conference room. The Founders Room also contains plaques in recognition of the brothers who helped to partially fund the construction and furnishing of the Central Office Building and the brothers who have served as Grand President. Located above the fireplace in the Alumni Room are several plaques remembering the extraordinary brothers. Located in the Sutton Archives Room is a beautiful plaque commemorating Buzz and Stoney Sutton. The Founders Room is located on the second floor of the building and is a revered and hallowed spot where we can remember the four young men who set in motion a tremendous organization. Memories abound in the central office from plaques commemorating the silver anniversary of the fraternity to pins commemorating the Pink Poodle Society to the pledge manuals which have educated our members since the early 1920s. A special memory for many Delta SIGs are the collegiate petitions located in the Founders Room. These petitions, submitted by each chapter in the fraternity, allowed a group of young men or young men and young women to become a chapter in Delta Sigma Pi. The Founders Room is dedicated to four young men who founded Delta Sigma Pi in the fall of 1907. Alexander Frank Mackey, Alfred Moisello, Harold Valentine Jacobs, and Henry Albert Tienkin.